I've been doing uh, improv and sketch regularly since I was like 15 or 16. Um, my old brother is eight years older than me and he's done stand-up and improv since I was like a little baby. So when I was 10 I would go see like uh, suburban improv shows and I'd be like, that's my brother. And so I would take uh, classes as a kid. Then in high school I made a very good close friend. Um, my friend's name is Justin Kaziski. And uh, when we were 16, we started taking way too many improv classes. No one should take as many as we did. And uh, yeah, we've been performing together since I was 15. I used to take uh, classes in Arizona, and then we also uh, performed weekly at this theater called Improv Mania. And then uh, we moved to New York together uh, when I came here to Fordham uh, University uh, at Lincoln Center. It's gonna be the best birthday party ever. <laughs> You're turning 12, and I'm your friend. <laughs> first month of school I really didn't like because uh, club meetings didn't start until late September that year and I was like I don't know who I am unless I'm in a room full of funny people being an idiot on the carpet and it was very it was very 18 year old uh, lost desert boy in the city um, so once Stoves meeting started that was great and that's how I found Stoves and now um, I've been at Stoves since I was a freshman my sophomore year, I became a video liaison. Um, and then this next semester, I'll be vice president. Stove's Comedy Club, also known as Stove's Cabin Crew, is the only comedy club at Fordham's Lincoln Center campus. We do improv, sketch, stand-up. We write satire for a uh, for publication called The Fordham Bleat. Um, we also make videos. So we basically do every form of comedy. Um, and there's no auditions, it's open to everyone. It's uh, as inclusive as any club could possibly be. Um, so basically we do about three shows per semester. Our fall semester we do an improv show, a stand-up show, and then a variety show with sketches, stand-up, improv, everything. Um, and then the spring semester we usually try to uh, experiment and stuff, so it'll, it's different every year. Uh, you got a dumb brother? Spray! I'm a group! You got a clean encounter? Spray! Oh. Yeah, listen to some of our customers. I always spray my big wings. Well, you fit it here, best America. Men in the Bronx are going wings. <laughs> Fascinating. For flavors of milk, vanilla, and chocolate. Vanilla is weird. Vanilla is normal and good. So Justin and I. Justin because he's my writing partner and fellow performer as a part of my duo Just and Comedy. It's a combination of our names did a cage match over the summer and they told us you'll find out about your date in so many months and so it's sort of we like forgot about it basically but we were so excited and then we found out that we were going to be in cage match in October and uh, when we found that out currently uh, who was winning cage match was a team named the stepfathers who are like the founding fathers of UCB like one of the best teams there are and they were they were like on an eight or nine week win streak and they kept winning we were like are we gonna have to face the stepfathers and we were so nervous but we also were like if we're gonna lose at cage match i want to lose versus the stepfathers and so uh the week before our show they were beat after a 12 or 13 week run by the law firm which is another really good team honestly one of my favorite teams that one of the first teams i ever saw at ucb um so then we got to do cage match and it went uh, really well. It couldn't have gone better and uh, by some uh, grace of our Jesuit God we won. But we did bring, we brought the heat uh, during cage match you're allowed to call a 30 second timeout in which you can do anything you want. down to our underpants on stage in front of our friends and then get into each other's clothes and then we wrapped up the show by playing each other's characters which is theatrical and fun and so that was cool and then we won the next week by also a miracle and then the last week Justin was out of town so I had to perform by myself which is um, illegal in some countries to do improv by yourself but I did it and uh, I lost and that was, uh, that was cage match